Lady, go! Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So, today we are going to do a singles reading, new love reading for my Aquarius. Singles, new love for March 2021. Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. To my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. And to those of you that are new, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave. Leave a comment. Let me know if it resonates with, with you all. Let me know what's going on with you. Let's get three messages, Holy Spirit, for Aquarius. Three messages for my Aquarius, please. Three love messages. New love. Okay. Oh, I like, I like, I like. Okay. So, we have Laser Beam. First message, Laser Beam. Leaping in love and from scratch. Let's go ahead and clarify these. What I'm getting now, well, of course, it's new love, but I keep hearing starting over. Like, you got your eye on something, and you want that that new beginning with the person you got laser beam sight like you're focused on you have a new path and you're focused on all things new i don't know why i'm getting that for you guys you're focused on all things new and i can see not just in love i can see in other aspects of your life too but since we're going to focus on love i'm bringing on back to the love part laser beam mm. page of cups princess of cups laser beam some type of new emotional offer of fulfillment. Like it's starting out small. It seemed like it. I got a kind of feeling that it may develop from here. Because as I look at the other oracles, um, you're enhancing the love. Like you have to. It's like baking a cake. You know how you got to put all the small ingredients in first. And missing one ingredient can make a turn for the worse when you're making a cake. So I kind of feel like with this energy... You're definitely trying to get all of your ingredients together. You feel me? So you this is really the laser beam is the, a person that's coming into your life that's going to affect your emotions in a great way. Like they're going to bring you um, some emotional fulfillment. Now it may start off small, but I kind of feel like it's going to grow into something bigger. Because this is new. So you got to work your way up. You can't get the whole cow at once. So I kind of feel like the person that's coming towards you is definitely going to show their interest. And they're definitely going to, um, they want to be happy with you. I don't know why I keep saying that. They want to be happy. And I think Aquarius, you manifested this into your life because you got this laser beam type of energy going on where you're like, look... I didn't cleanse everything out that I don't want, and but I want this new new. You want the new new, and they want the new new too. Laser beam, laser beam eyesight on something new. Oh, I like it. Ooh wee! This gets better and better and better. Leaping in love with the star card. So taking a chance, taking a chance in love, definitely they're taking a chance to come towards you and give you, give you that healing that's required in love. Because sometimes when we meet, when we meet new people, it, it, it fills the soul and it does help us, um, feel some sort of void that we may have had as far as like, um, a void of, you know, wanting that companionship. So those voids are going to be filled. This person definitely is going to have a healing and patient heart towards you. And then they're going to look at you just like you're the bomb, like you all that. The star is just somebody that's just got it all. Like they look at you like this is my person. They all that. Like how can I not, how can I not, um, be in love how can i not take a leap of faith how can i how can i leave this behind they ain't going nowhere they're not going nowhere from scratch so you got to start over you got to let those old things go 
This is definitely a person that has cleansed their life too. And so have you, Aquarius. That's why you guys are meeting up at this time because you guys manifested each other. You both cleansed your life. You walked away from old things that don't serve you, the Eight of Cups, and now you're starting over from scratch. This is something, the card's right here. This is a new emotional fulfillment that's coming into your life. That's going to bring you much happiness and success. That's going to also heal, heal your, I don't want to say necessarily heart, but heal the love that's needed in your life. Bring healing love. I like that better. Bring healing love. Oh, this person is coming across very gentle. I like, I love me a gentle person because love can be tricky sometimes love can be harsh and i under i think that this person understands that that's why they're coming across very soft very patient and loving let's get some clarity on all of on some of the cards that we have out here laser beam leaping in love and from scratch you got your eyes set on what you want, something new. They're ready to leap in love, but they know they got to try it a different way. You got to do things a different way because, you know, if you, if it was working from what you were doing in the past, then you wouldn't be watching a new, a new love singles read. So those old things you got to let go of. That's why you got the eight of cups. You got to let those go about their business. Walk away from them, turn your back on them. Let me clarify the Princess of Cups, please, Holy Spirit. Woo! Queen of Cups. Big baby energy, okay? This queen is just a loving queen. She extends her cup to people. She's very nurturing and caring. This is, I don't know why I keep hearing love mama. This is the love mama card. Like, they just want to share with you and love on you and care for you. So, you go from the page to the queen, Big energy. I told you this is a, a growing. So you might take that leap into the queen because you got leaping in love. So this is definitely could go from a page to a queen type of love in a matter of days, months, maybe weeks. It may not take as long as you think, you know. It may not take as long as you think. May I have the star card? Holy Spirit, what's going on with my Aquarius? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, come on through. Come on through. Ten of Pentacles with the star card, with the leaping in love. I mean, what more can you ask for? Leaping in love with the Ten of Pentacles, that means you're going to have everything that your heart's desire. And this person is willing to work with you to bring these things into your life. And you, them. You guys are going to work together to get this happiness you're going to heal together and you're going to work together to set a solid foundation. This is stability. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Materials in this deck. Same thing. This is stability. This is stability in love and in life. And if we want to talk about coins too, this is stability in the material world. Mm. Woo. So you guys have been, I feel like... With this reading, I feel like you guys have been working individually before you meet one another. You've been working on yourself. You have been um, becoming a stable person and providing for yourself along the way. And when you guys link up, it's just going to be um, a situation where you bring all of your everything together. Because you got, like I said, you've been working while you've been alone. Because you got the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which is kind of like a single energy, but abundantly single individually abundantly single as an individual and when you bring those abundant things together you you grow into the 10 this can mean happy family uh definitely wealth within family definitely wealth within love as well not just all money but that loyalty and that um compassion that you have wanted in a partner you'll get it with this 10 once you you'll get it with that 10 because you're you're going to pour into each other I like it. Awesome. Let's get the Eight of Cups. From scratch, Eight of Cups. Holy Spirit. What's this Eight of Cups energy here? Oh. Ooh, the queen. <laughs> the queen, the queen, the queen. The queen has arrived. The queen of Pentacles has arrived. She has arrived with this Eight of Cups. 
So the queen has arrived, clarifying the eight of cups. So you have walked away from things that no longer serve you, and this queen is ready to rebuild. Very practical energy in love and in finances, and they don't mind hard work. This queen doesn't mind hard work. This queen definitely is able to build anything anything from scratch they don't care about starting over that doesn't scare them but as long as the, it is a equal reciprocation between the two they all in they all in they're looking for you know the intellect and the and the love and the emotion equally but they're very nurturing very generous very kind-hearted queen so this is definitely energy that's coming through for this new love but you got to leave that past alone. And so do they. They have to leave that past out of this energy because this 10, this 10, this 10, I don't know why I want to say materials. It don't sound right to me. But this 10 of Pentacles that's in this reading with all this new emotional fulfillment that's coming to fill that void of not having what you deserve is no longer existing. Not having what you deserve is no longer a issue or a problem. This person that's coming towards you is going to fulfill fulfill the love that you deserve as well as with all the work that you have done on yourself and all the work that they've done on themselves. Aquarius, your person is definitely ready to start over with see, spiritual union on the back of the card and on the back of the deck. I just cut it, spiritual union. So this is someone that you're definitely coming into union with that is bringing everything that you, your heart's desire. So you guys will fulfill each other and become one. Could possibly be a marriage. This can be the person that you marry. Let's get the advice, please, for the spread. May I have the advice for my Aquarius Holy Spirit? more cards for advice okay one more card please thank you thank you thank you oh i like it so immediately i hear use your spiritual strength to press forward in this connection because you know when you first meet someone you don't always know everything about them but I do feel that we all know that we have a shadow and a light side and we're working. We definitely need to work on our shadow side so that our light shines brighter. And I do believe that your person has done this. This person has done this. They they are not coming through. I don't feel the energy of any, you know, negative or deceptive things that may take place in the relationship this is saying using your spiritual strength use your intuition you're going to know who this person is use your intuition and it's like i said before <laughs> it's so crazy that accelerated motion came out um with this because when i looked at these i said it's going to start off as you know something a small offer of love and then it goes right to the big dog the queen of cups it goes right to the queen of cups or the queen of emotions in this deck so that's the accelerated motion that i am referring to and it's so crazy that this came out that's the accelerated motion that i am referring to the love is going to grow faster than it's probably it's going to grow faster than any love that you've had in the past and them as well but you guys are going to be able to accept this love and care for this love properly because you have done your own individual work. Does that make sense? Yes, of course it does. <laughs> Let's get from their heart to yours a message. Leave you with a message that they would like to tell you. Okay. A message that this person would like to tell my Aquarius, please. Let's get one message and I'm going to let you guys go, go. What they want to say to my Aquarius. What do they want to say? Here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. New, 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 new everything new 
creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. So this is the work that they have done um, in themselves and over over their love life, over their heart chakra. So this is the, I feel like this is coming across like advice that they want to say to you. Like this person is full of wisdom. So the wisdom is unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. That's your shadow. That's their shadow work that they've been doing. I told you this person been working on themselves. That's the shadow work that this person has been doing on themselves. They are dissolving all of this unwanted energy and turning it into something great that's going to create room for new opportunities. They're opening up space in their life for a better and new love and changing their perspective of love as well. Dissolving into light. I like the way this card said that. They're making room for the light. They don't have time to sit around and be sad about lost opportunities in life. They have now come into a place in their life where all they want to do is stay positive and keep keep all those unwanted thoughts at bay. Now they know how to control those things that they may have not been able to control in the past when it comes to definitely... Um, not being consistent in relationships or, you know, may have had a lot of people in their life or maybe dating a lot of different people. They have cleansed all of those unwanted things and turned it into something positive. Now they're ready for the commitment part of their life that they know that you deserve. And they want to give that commitment to you, Aquarius. Woo, that was a lot. <laughs> but here you have it. Your new love reading for March 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.